Hi, this is Nicole Winham and this is part 3 of e-commerce. In this video we are going to focus on the importing options for products. So basically what I'm going to talk you through is how to import product data into your online store. Besides from adding products manually, you can use an importing template in order for you to import a large amount of products at once into your online store. So navigate to e-commerce and products and click on import products. And you would need to download the template file if you don't have any products in your online store yet. The import file is a Microsoft Excel file. So when you download the file, you need to open the download in that program. And first, what you see here is a whole bunch of explanation and a whole bunch of columns. So the simpler approach is to set up a product manually in the first place and then use this as your template to add all other products to your online store. And you would have to do that anyway if you already have products in your online store in order for you to keep the product codes and names so new duplicate products will be added to the online store. And you can do that by going to e-commerce and products. And when you click on export here, select export all records, click on download and open the download in Microsoft Excel. So looking at this download file here, that looks much better already. And it gives you a pretty good overview of what you actually need for your individual online store. So you can extend the columns here a little bit. And I will try to walk you through the do's and don'ts when it comes to editing the import file and what to look out for when re-importing this file in the BC system. So basically what you need to know is that the product code and the name column are the only mandatory columns in that import file. Everything else is optional. It is important that you keep the product code as is, otherwise the product will be duplicated as a whole new product and then you would have to go back in and change it manually. Now for the name you can enter anything that you'd like for the product name and for the description also, although there's not enough room here as you might think, you can enter the entire description into the description column. For the small image and large image, it is just important to know that you don't have any special characters in your path or naming the file poorly by having weird characters in there, such as um, special characters like an ampersand or just a blank space. And that goes for the path name and path folder too. So make sure you don't have any uh, blank spaces in there, otherwise it will mess up the importing file and most likely the import won't work anymore. So this is one of the biggest and common pitfalls, naming the file names and folder names poorly by adding special characters and blank spaces. Now when it comes to the catalog, it might take a while for you to figure out what that actually means. So I try to explain what, what you see here. For example, when we take the first uh, product here and see the catalog that it is assigned to. Now the top level catalog is always being displayed with a forward slash then the catalog name then another forward slash and a semicolon. That's how you end the top level catalog. If this product is also assigned to a sub catalog to a top level catalog, you will need to repeat the top, top level catalog's name, forward slash, top level catalog's name and end with a forward slash. Then immediately add the uh, um, sub level catalog name to it and end everything with a forward slash semicolon. So as you see here, my t-shirt product that I only assigned to the um, top level catalog kits ends with the uh, forward slash semicolon and is not assigned to a sub catalog. Now for the sale price, as I mentioned, you can uh, set different currencies uh, for the same product. The format of how you would do that is to first enter the code for the country and then the price and end it with a semicolon. You would go ahead and add new currencies or multiple currencies by adding immediately the code for the country forward slash amount and end with a semicolon and so on and so forth. The retail price you would do the same in here and also for the tax codes you'd go ahead and do the same here. Now in here you can uh, change your change or set the SEO friendly URL as well and once you have grouping or suppliers or waiting or the minimum units or anything else that you can set up under more options for this product this will be set here so as I mentioned before it would be extremely helpful for you to create a sample product that 
basically holds everything that you plan to do with your online store in the product details, then download this product as the Excel file and uh, add more products to it by following the example for the sample product. So as I said, you can add, edit or even remove products from your online store in that uh, Excel file here. And once you're finished, you uh, can save the file as either a CSV, a comma delimited file, or a TXT tab delimited file, or a uh, Unicode file type if you need to fully support the UTF-8 character set. And that would happen if your site uses a non-English character set, such as Chinese, Japanese, Arabic and others. I usually save it as a CSV, a comma delimited file. So save it somewhere on the computer. Call it maybe products, maybe something else. Confirm. And now back in the admin, Click on Browse to locate the file on your computer. Click on Next. Confirm. And then all you see is a preview uh, of a few samples of the uh, products about to be imported to your online store. You can uh, then go ahead and click on Import. And the files have been imported. So with my file now being imported, but I didn't change anything. There should be uh, no change in my product lineup here, but I can show you real quick if I add a new product in this import file here. Just set my product code to uh, test product, and the name is my test product. And I do want to assign it to my kids catalog not giving it anything else. So save it again. Back in import. Select the file again, click on next. And now going back to products, my test product has been created and it should appear within my kids catalog. Yeah, but because I didn't set any uh, images or prices, this is all you see right now, but it works. So as I mentioned, make sure you don't have any uh, weird characters in there. Make sure you don't change product codes for existing uh, products. And if you export and sample products with all the possibilities that you want to create for your online store and then re-import the file, then you should be all good.